Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining about 12 unnecessary Windows program and application that you should uninstall right now. You really don't need it. This run in the background, they can even create a problem for you and it really occupy a lot of space. So let's quickly get it started. And before starting, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get such kind of useful information in the future. So in order to find it out, you have two methods to open the program and feature. The first that I would recommend that you can click on your Windows search, type appwiz.cpl. Then you have to hit the enter key. And this will list you all kind of application and program installed on your computer. The first one that I would recommend that you should quickly uninstall is the QuickTime. Now QuickTime is basically a application for the Apple video player and 99% of the people they really don't use it. All right, so you have to look for QuickTimes, come here and if you find anything related to QuickTime, you have to select it, then you need to uninstall it. You really don't need it, so better go ahead and uninstall this application. Now the next one is the CCleaner which was a very popular application to delete all kind of junk and the temporary file from your Windows operating system. But now on Windows 10 and Windows 11 especially, you have the default feature from Microsoft through which you can clean all kind of junk. So what you will have to do, you just need to make a right click on your Windows icon, then go to settings, then click on system. And here you have to look for the storage. And from here, you can delete all the temporary file, all kind of junk from here only. So you don't need application like CCleaner. So look into the list here. If you find anything related to CCleaner, right click and delete it. Even if you find any similar application like CCleaner, which is just used to clean all the junk, then you can go ahead and uninstall it. You don't need any third party application. Now, the next one is the uTorrent. If you have been using your torrent to download any kind of file, videos, movies, application, I really recommend that you should go ahead and uninstall such kind of program and application. This is really not safe. It occupies a lot of space and many kind of malware trojan can come through this application. So look in the list here. If you find uTorrent, BitTorrent, anything, right click and choose uninstall. The next one is the Adobe Flash Player or the Shockwave flash player you don't need the adobe flash player anymore as it's been stopped by the windows and if you find anything related to adobe flash player or the shockwave flash player look into the list here right click and just uninstall it the next one is the silver light now many people many windows users have this application installed silver light and if you get that application you also need to uninstall it now, next, we also need to uninstall any kind of toolbar. So many times while using any kind of browser or any kind of application, this toolbar get automatically downloaded and installed on your computer. Toolbar like Yahoo toolbar, it can be MSN toolbar, Google search toolbar. So if you get any kind of toolbar, look into the list, right click and choose uninstall. Then click on yes and it will be uninstalled from your computer. You really don't need it. It's totally useless according to me. Now next you also need to look for the manufacturer bloatware like if you're using the Asus motherboard. So you might have some kind of bloatware that comes automatically while uh, getting the Asus motherboard. Uh, many applications like HP or Dell, they automatically get installed. So look for any kind of application related to your Asus related to HP, Dell, Lenovo that you really don't need. Look that application and just uninstall it. Similarly, you have to look for the Windows bloatware. If you find any file related to Windows that you really don't need it, then you need to go ahead and just uninstall it. Similarly, if you're using the Windows operating system and if you get any Apple software update, Apple application support, and if you really don't use any of the application of Apple product, then just go ahead and uninstall it. Next, we have the Bonzor that is another popular application from the Apple. And I guess most of the people, almost every Windows user must have this application. They really don't need it. Even I guess you may have not ever used it. So if you find Bonzor on this application, then you just need to make a right click and uninstall the Bonzor as well. 
Now the last is the multiple browsers. Now many people I have seen that they are using only Google Chrome browser, but they also have the Firefox. They also have the Edge browser. They have the Brave browser. They have the Opera. There is no need to keep such kind of browser on your computer. So decide to go only with the one. If you're using only Google Chrome, you can keep one as an alternate. But if you have more than two, then I would recommend that you should go ahead and uninstall the other browser from your PC. Like I have Brave. You can see that I have the Brave, then I have Google Chrome, then I have Microsoft Edge, then I have Firefox. I don't need four or five browsers on my computer because they occupy a lot of space and they really become the reason of high CPU and the memory usage. All right, so whichever browser you use, you can keep that. The rest, you can uninstall it. Now, finally, the bonus tip is that also look for the application that you don't identify that you are not using anymore here. Just find it, right click and uninstall it. So these are the very important settings that every Windows user should do to keep your Windows operating system neat and clean. So hopefully guys you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question you can let me know in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.